From the Fox 26 studios, this is Houston's Morning Show. Are you having fun with FaceApp? I'm not. I refuse to get this thing on my phone. I don't want to see what I look like in, when I'm 80. Have you heard it's a Russian <laughs> company, though? New security concerns this morning. We're asking our tech expert if it's really a big deal. All right, what is up with FaceApp? Pictures of celebrities, friends, maybe even you've done this. You've wanted to see what you're going to look like decades older, and then you're posting it all over social media. Well, now data security experts found the app's user agreement gives the Russian company the right to use your photos you upload however it wants. Should you be concerned? Let's ask our tech expert, Nick Walney. Good morning to you, and I'm glad you're here to talk about this. Good morning. Because it is really blowing up. What, what is your feeling as a tech expert about this app? And for anybody who's got it on their phone right now. Yeah, well, I think the first thing to keep in mind is that the, the user agreement, the terms and conditions mm -hmm. that is kind of blowing up and that people are getting really concerned about, it's actually pretty standard for the terms uh, for an app. Mm -hmm. um, an app, that especially that involves using some of your data, perhaps any kind of photo manipulation app, anything like that. Um, it's it's standard practice. Does it technically mean that your you know your selfie could be used in a marketing campaign somewhere in another country? Theoretically, yes, but most uh, software need to have that uh, permission in place, and they're not actually going to use it um, if they use any kind of a cloud or if it involves any kind of uploading a photo to manipulate it of any kind. So some of the fears, Nick, are that if you download this app and you upload a photo, it will have access to your entire photo library which could include sensitive financial information your kids photos etc can they really access your whole photo library so the short answer is no and the reason this is kind of snowballed out of control is a user posted to Twitter has some screenshots saying you know when you download an app and you have an option like can this app access your photos can this app, app access your camera things like that um, the iOS user was concerned that you know I had said no to that but then I could still participate in using the app and choose an individual photo. That's actually a green light. Apple allows that. You can tell certain apps, hey, don't look at my entire photo reel, but I still want to participate. I still want to upload one photo at a time. And so that's, you know, someone had reported that with some screenshots and things like that. And the, you know, like how we, we know with Twitter, like things can get out of control real quick in terms of virality. And so, and even to where the DNC made a statement yesterday, you know, so that they said like, hey, we don't want any politicians to download this app and use it. We don't really fully understand how the... Sure what's going on in terms of sharing. But it's just that one photo or whatever you do, correct. whatever photos that mm -hmm. you are trying to correct or age or whatever it is you're doing. With right. The and from the app perspective, it actually doesn't want to have access to that much stuff because yeah. it would be mm -hmm. so much storage. Oh, it'd be huge. Storage my phone manage. can barely hold all my right. photos. I don't know how they <laughs> take them all. Okay, now let me yeah. ask you this. So let's say you at home right now are watching and you have this on your phone and you want to get it off. You want to get rid of all risks. If you delete that app, does that mean they no longer have access to anything or is it already they have that photo too late. If you want to be 100% safe, you know, I mean, deleting the app helps. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that you can do and that the app has made a public statement about is that you can go into the settings section of that app. There's a section called report a bug and you can just type the word privacy. They know that there is a massive influx of people saying, hey, please just wipe, um, you know, uh, everything that has happened. And also this app is actually not new. This app has been mm -hmm. around for a few years. You know, people have been using it. It's just that these recent features where they use artificial intelligence intelligence to create the aging and all that cool stuff. Um, that is what is causing all this. Uh, and then all the away. celebrities started to post and so mm -hmm. now it's gone viral yeah. uh, once it's the number again. One app. Yeah. So why are people, it's so popular, Nick, and, and you can actually use it to make yourself look younger too. Mm -hmm. So why are people wanting to look old? Why are people only doing the old one? I guess it's because it's just the, the craziness. And of I it, also right? think it's kind of the next level. You know, again, this app uses artificial intelligence mm -hmm. in order to do it. So it's not just uh, a filter that you're putting on your face the way you would on perhaps like a social media filter. It's actually going in and using, you know, something that has previously mostly been used in crime or mostly been used in, you know, other areas. Yeah. And we're kind of seeing this where it is using artificial intelligence to look at the different pixels of your face and, you know, determine. That's why, it's, I mean, it looks realistic. It looks it's different so than what we've ever seen you before. done it, Nick? Um, now, I was told that this was going to be a group activity. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, to no, do no. This. Uh, Only and, you. Yeah, and so I uh, so I submitted my photos okay. uh, for you guys. So I guess we're gonna look at the <gasps> before and, and here after. You are. Wow.
you're gonna be, look, you're gonna grow up to be such a handsome uh, man. Yeah. I joke about where are gonna, yours. You're like Mr. Uh, Steele, your grandpa uh, kind of guy. There, you look good. <laughs> well, thank you. No, you guys um, will have to show um, your um, your performance. No, Melissa, on your show. you are on your own. We're gonna just look in the mirror one day and be like, what happened? Now, I will say, from what I've seen, the guys are looking a lot better aging wise yes. than the women. I think it's un yes. being unfair to the ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> All right, Nick. Good conversation. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate Thanks it. for calming our nerves. <laughs>